Mike McCool here. I'm in the Royal Examiner studio, and with me today is Teresa Henry, right over here, and Cynthia Smithlin. They are the proprietors of the downtown market. Right. <laughs> I called it right. You I've did. Called that, I've called that the Mark Main Street market, the down home market, and Kibler's Furniture Store. I've called it a lot of things. Yeah. So You can call it anything you want. Just come shop with us. Just come on down and see, <laughs> see them because they are there. What we want to talk about today quickly and get on the air right away is uh, the artisan walk that we had planned for Saturday. Yes. So uh, fill us in on that. Well, it seems that Hurricane Laura has decided to come through and uh, mess up our plans this weekend with Saturday. So we are going to try to do it on Sunday, um, one day later. And also we're inviting the artists back on September the 5th. And that's a Saturday. And that's a Saturday. So, so the hours are a little different for Sunday. It'll be one, or I'm sorry, at 12 to 5 on Sunday. This Sunday coming up. Um, and then on the 5th, it will be 3 to 7 p.m. All right, so the 5th is not a rain day. It's just an additional day. It's just an additional day. Okay, because originally it was a rain date, I think, and then someone right. said, and uh, so we want to clarify that. So, yes. Uh, this artisan, we call it an artisan walk, uh, is really kind of neat. So tell us a little bit about the kind of artists we have and exactly what will be happening. Okay. Well, we have we had up to yesterday 20 plus artisans. Um, we'll have a little less, but there'll be some that will come on on Sunday. There'll be some that come on next Saturday, but some of them will be there both days. So right. that's pretty exciting. Um, you'll see everything from spray paint art to wood carving, chainsaw art. Uh, There'll be painters and um, what else? Arlene will have her pottery wheel. The pottery wheel, oh, yes. yes. Arlene. Arlene, Arlene, will, Arlene will be there. Yes. yes. Arlene's doing pottery. She's yes. going to bring so her wheel. That'll be really excited. This, and this. if you want to get a picture of the ghost scene of the you know the movie, she'll let you stand behind her. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, that would be interesting. <laughs> or, or maybe you might want to pretend and, and you know anyway we'll talk about that when it happens you know? right right but i noticed does... mike always says uh, you know they play ghost all maybe they play ghost all i don't know something goes we won't talk about that <laughs> that that shouldn't be talked about <laughs> but you know she's a phenomenal artist and I look forward to seeing her doing her thing. And she has somebody coming with her. I believe that's also going to be th using a wheel. Yes. So she, so yes. There will actually be two people on the pottery wheel. Well, that'll be, it's interesting. And the, I heard the chainsaw guy will be there doing the mm -hmm. art. Yes. It's really fascinating to watch them. Uh, it's kind of like sculpture the logs, yeah. and, and they end up with uh, alligators and bears and, right. and eagles and all sorts mm -hmm. of things. I think they're going to be doing some gnomes. Um, it's a family uh, rugged Mountain Creations. Mm -hmm. um, it, she does some of the chainsaw stuff as well. So um, I'm not sure if they'll both be able to make it, but there will be a chainsaw mm -hmm. art going on, and it'll be fun. Now, they will be there on the 25th. Um, I'm sorry, on the 5th. Um, they won't be able to come on this, the 30th. On the 30th. All right, so they won't Sunday. be there Sunday, but they will be on on the 5th. Yes. It, it sounds like uh, in the, since the weather's cooled just a little bit, uh, the downtown Main Street has picked up. Yeah. When we yes. were down there last Saturday, everyone seemed, I didn't find one negative comment from anybody. And I talked to, uh, the video we did was 48 minutes long. Yeah, so right. I only tried to talk for a few minutes right. for a lot of people. <laughs> and it added up pretty quick, but everybody was excited about it. That's really what they wanted to see. We hoped that we could have had that all summer long. Right. But the weather just didn't uh, participate. Right. Uh, you know, those hundred, we're just not used to those hundred degree no. days with hundred percent or 99 percent humidity. No. The last place you want to be is on Main Street in a hundred degree weather and with the 90 degree humidity because sure. it's hot on the asphalt anyway. So right. walking up and down the street, it's just too hot. So we, you know, we had a couple of weekends where it just, the flow wasn't there, but we know that the weather change and it's a good opportunity for mm -hmm. people to get out into the open air where they can social sure, distance sure. and enjoy themselves and their families. Um, we love seeing the restaurants doing well and having the outside seating is awesome because they come down, they stay longer. 
yes. and they shop with us while they're down there. So it's a win-win for everyone. Right. People are really enjoying the uh, that atmosphere. It's kind of like an, an event atmosphere. Absolutely. Even though, especially this last week when we had a lot of vendors and, and uh, well, actually local businesses, really, not sure. really vendors per se that right. you would think of in an event. Uh uh, but uh, people that were not on Main Street came and set up tables, and, and sure. they're welcome to do that as well. So if Absolutely. you have a business or some sort of uh, craft that you want to display, uh, come on down on Main Street. There's mm -hmm. no Absolutely. cost to do it. Just bring your goods and come on down. Come, come on down. Um, you know, we Which have... is still going to be open on Saturday as well. Are, we gonna, are people going to try to set up something on Saturday, or are we just going to kind of like you know, let that day I, pass? I know <laughs> that um, th the... Front Row Brewery is doing their, um, what is it, the, they, they have music out. Mm -hmm. right. And he'll be there unless it rains him out. Right. So that starts at 5, and they still plan to do that. And they they possibly will bring him inside. I'm not sure about that. So, right. But that, that I'm sure that's a possibility that well, they'll the street, bring him inside. The street will be closed. Mm -hmm. The street so, will be closed uh, to traffic. So come on down. And, and worst stores. case is just have a nice little stroll and sure. talk to the people that are... Uh, brave enough. Well, you know, oh, yeah. people go out on the hurricanes and sit on the beach. That's so, right. So uh, all we're going to get is a little bit of wind and a little bit of rain, rain. if we're lucky to even get that much. And the shops yeah. will be open, so yes. yeah. Yeah. just walk we'll a little there. bit in the rain and That's right. come just visit water. everybody. And it's, just it's just water. water. Mm -hmm. It's just water. Yeah. You know, and, you know, won't mess up my hair too much. So, we have yeah. make and take art. They can come down. The family can come down and paint with us, create jewelry, and be dry and watch the hurricane come down Main Street. <laughs> well, uh, let's touch real quick on things that you have in your store at the downtown market. Uh, I know, Cynthia, you have a shop in there mm -hmm. as well, and you, several things you do. Yeah, I do a lot. <laughs> well, a I bit. get very bored at the same thing, so I have a lot of <laughs> antiques in the store. I'm one of those picker people that like to watch auctions and buy store right. units and kind of a little bit of all of that. I um, just like to go find stuff you know, that sure. people don't have anymore. And then um, I have a full vinyl business um, that Teresa and I actually team up a lot with anymore, um, trying to fit that in. So I do um, any custom vinyl work. Um, and then, of course, I am busy with all of the vendors at the shops. So. Right. And, Teresa, you have your... your uh crafts yes it's called crafts but the uh, strokes us. of creativity uh artist studio in there and we do classes we haven't in the last couple months with the COVID. Um, we plan to start them back up middle of september mm -hmm. uh, we'll do a paint pouring class first we have a lot of people who want to do that so that'll be the first on the books um, we also have the make it and take it where we have ceramics and we have we even have the canvas that you can come in and pick out a canvas mm -hmm. and a template and sit there and do it. But we also offer the to-go kits so they can come and take it with them if mm -hmm. they like. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of people that come in and grab the kits for date nights and things like sure. that. And it's big on the uh, homeschooling right now. Yes. We have a lot of parents coming in and purchasing the ceramics and woodworking um, to take home for their kids' uh, art class art for, class. for mm -hmm. school. So there's other things in crafts at the downtown market. Mm -hmm. There is. I noticed that Dusty has uh, uh, things going on. I just made a sign for her about her uh, beef that she has in there. So Absolutely. Uh, you know, you don't think about all these odd things that people put in these kind of markets, but there's everything there. Yeah, it, it's hers, a variety store. Mm -hmm. Hers is um, definitely a lot of gourmet. She carries um, mostly veteran-owned companies. Uh, she works very close with the veterans. Um, and then uh, there, she has a few uh, local Virginia products mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she tries to keep it very local and veteran-owned. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to call it a flea market, but it kind of gives you that circus atmosphere when you walk in the door. <laughs> <laughs> now you're saying we're a circus. Uh, now, um, well, that well, was last weekend is, you were That's circus. right. The last weekend, that was our circus, and those were our monkeys. Mm -hmm. And we had the shirts to prove it. But... Um, Yes, uh, we're, we don't consider ourselves a flea market. We consider ourselves a collective. We have a lot of local businesses. A collective cafe or some sort. <laughs> well, funny you mention cafe because we are in the works of bringing some really exciting things back. And um, we can't say too much about it, but tune in because we're going to have some... Some really we're exciting some big works. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're in some big works right now. Always something happening at the downtown. And there market. is, there is. All right. But um, 
Yeah, we have, I think about 80% of what we have in the downtown market is small business artisans. You know, they're the makers, the creators. And then we do have Dusty with her Dusty Country Store, um, Red Dog Decor. I Want Candy is there. And they're moving. They're moving across the street. They are. So you act, you're acting as an incubator for, for some of the... And then she's moved from the store into your place, and then now she's moving back into right. her own store. place. So mm -hmm. you acting, you're acting as an incubator for some Absolutely. of these small yeah. businesses. Yeah, we have vendors um, like her who's actually moving into a full location, and then we have um, vendors who have started very small, um, like having five or six items in our store to having... A, 10 by 20 space um, like Stephanie does with her shadow boxes. She just continued to, to produce so much stuff and sells so well that she was able to continue to grow over actually just a, month, a couple few months. Uh, she moved from a couple shelves to a quite large space. space. Good, good. Well, that shows you that people like to shop local. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And we're glad and we're privileged, we feel privileged to be able to offer that to mm -hmm. our community. We well, have a really nice space. Have you decided to do anything upstairs? We are in the works of doing some things upstairs, um, but we're we're not telling those secrets. Oh, yet. you have so many. <laughs> we have so many you, secrets going on. Have, we have four big vendors coming in, in the next month. And so until everything's, until they're ready, we, we can't really you, you, talk about when it. When they sign on the dotted line, That's then right. they'll tell us about That's it. That's right. Yes. right. Well, you know, it's a 15,000 square foot building if you've never been there. Yes. Uh, on both floors. It is one of the largest spaces downtown. Yes. So, and, and it's air conditioned. It is. So. Uh, it is. Uh, it's, it's great. So let's just recap here. The art, we're, open, we're closed for the weekend. The street is the closed street. for the weekend. This weekend as well. Uh, but on Sunday is when our artisan walk will be. We'll have 15 or so artists on, yes. on the sidewalks, and uh, you can come down and do that. And then the following weekend, we're going to be doing it again, but that will be on Saturday. Yes, and there, there is um, other businesses that have planned other things on next Saturday. So it'll be a, a little bit of a modge podge. Come on down and celebrate the the Labor Day weekend with us, right. and um, it'll be fun. So bring so we the got, family on so out. So some things are on hold as far as our farm parades. and mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, maybe we'll just move that to the we're next gonna, week. We're going to move that a little bit so that we can make sure that everyone who wants to participate right. can. Nothing worse than being rained out on something. And, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're, we're thankful we're not in Louisiana and Texas, but, uh, uh, you know, they're a resilient bunch yes. there, yeah. and, and they'll... They'll come forward. This is not the first time it's happened no. to them, and, and they'll they'll come back strong. and And I'm sure we'll do the same thing in, in sure. Front Royal. Mm -hmm. Teresa, Cynthia, I really appreciate you coming in, talking to us. Thank you. Just want to remind everybody that great things are happening on Main Street. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, I always say is what happens on Main Street happens in the rest of the community. So we're in the heart a, of we, the community. We, we need a nice, strong Main Street, mm -hmm. and we need to make it successful. So. Come on down uh, this weekend, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday on Main Street. Just stroll. Have a nice little walk. Even if you're not doing anything else, bring your date and just enjoy the ambiance yes. uh, of the city. So we'll see you downtown. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.